The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, more commonly known as NASA, is the largest space exploration agency in the world. With a budget of 22.6 billion US dollars for 2020, a key involvement in the space race of the 1950s and its formation in 1958, NASA has prided itself as being at the forefront of space and robotics advancements for decades. The American Space Agency has broken records, made history and unveiled new information time and time again, owning some of the most famous satellites, rovers and telescopes. However, the federal agency is not quite as pristine as it may seem. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three discoveries and announcements made by NASA that may detract from its seemingly shiny reputation. Priceless NASA artifacts lost because of poor record keeping. Being at the forefront of space development and making history time and time again, it is no surprise that NASA has come into possession of items, artifacts, and relics of great scientific and historical importance. You would think that this would warrant top notch security, though apparently this is a weak point for the US government agency. In October of 2018, the agency was evaluated and a report entitled Audit of NASA's Historic Property was published, in which the agency was criticized for the handling of what was described as heritage assets. The official report included the phrase, a significant amount of historic and personal property has been lost, misplaced or taken by former employees and contractors due to the agency's lack of adequate procedures. The audit continues to outline the sociological importance of items that may no longer serve a functional purpose and the need to continue to preserve and protect them. One of the items that has been lost by NASA includes an Apollo 11 lunar collection bag. This was said to contain lunar dust particles, and despite the high profile of this item, it went missing. Eventually, it was found to have been sold for $1.8 million. It was taken into the FBI's possession after being found in the home of a man who was once the chief executive officer for the Kansas Cosmosphere and Space Center. It was found in the midst of a criminal investigation, worsening this mishap on NASA's behalf. It was later concluded that the item was then sold at a Marshall's service auction. It was only in 2015 that NASA learned about this lunar collection bag having gone astray when a buyer from an auction requested the space agency confirm its authenticity. NASA then made a request to reclaim the item, though a judge denied it. The bag was auctioned and its whereabouts today remains unknown. Similarly, a prototype of a lunar rover was sold to a scrapyard, disregarding the significance of such a creation. Later on, the rover made an appearance in Alabama in a residential neighborhood. It was an Air Force historian who made the discovery. When they were reached out to by government officials, they were reportedly cooperative and keen to return the rover to NASA. However, dawdling on NASA's part led to the vehicle being misplaced once again. The Inspector General reported that the individual who had found the rover waited for over four months to hear back from the space agency before selling it to a scrap metal company. When NASA officials contacted the company in an effort to purchase the rover, the owner refused, acknowledging the value of the item they possessed. It was sold at an auction, though it is not known how much for or who it went to. Following the audit, NASA confirmed to the Inspector General's office that there would be a more sufficient, more accurate process to handle any items of historical significance. This was due to be implemented following the spring of 2020 in May. Whilst still problematic at the time of the audit, in 2018, NASA security has improved substantially since its early days. In the 1960s and 70s, NASA would happily give what would now be considered historical artifacts away as gifts to employees, astronauts, contractors and the like, considering them souvenirs. Plenty of items from these decades resurface from time to time within auctions, particularly from the Mercury, Gemini and Apollo space missions. Hopefully, future items will be well cared for, accounted for and preserved. These artifacts make up our historical progress into space. When these items are missing, so is a part of our history. Moon landing tapes got erased. In 1969, one of the most significant scientific advancements of modern history was made. 
as man first stepped foot on the moon. Despite the clear importance of such a momentous occasion, the original footage could not be tracked down and was admittedly lost by NASA themselves. In 2005, NASA began to search for the 14 track data tapes that contained and recorded data that was transmitted directly from the moon. When these tapes could not be found, the assumption was that this data had been deleted and the tapes reused after transferring the data elsewhere. This was standard procedure and accepted practice at the time. These tapes included video footage alongside other data collected. On the NASA webpage, theories, criticism and mania surrounding the sensationalist headlines are addressed, as it is made abundantly clear that this data and information is available and accessible elsewhere. It is only the originals that were not found. The data was related to what was the Manned Spacecraft Center, though is now known as the Johnson Space Center during the mission itself. This, among other locations, recorded the data. There is no missing video footage or other information missing from the Apollo 11 moon landing. However, this questionable cloud has a silver lining. As NASA appeared to be engaged in a battle between the inaccurate headlines of the media, the hunt for the originals overturned higher quality broadcasting containing the video footage. NASA engineer Dick Navska and his team stumbled across this find. He said he and his team was desperate to do something for history, if we could. Kinescopes were found to have been recorded at the National Archives, and tapes were uncovered that were sent directly from Houston to CBS. Perhaps not in the original form, but the raw data was archived successfully. Following this successful and relieving discovery, NASA began work with a California company to restore and enhance the original footage, improving the definition and image quality, though this also proved to be a problematic move. With a Hollywood company on board, the rumors that the moon landing was faked, staged or recorded on a military base grew rampant once again. Nafska commented, This company is restoring historic video. It did not tell me where the company was from. Despite the rich rumors and strange headlines, there does not appear to be missing footage of Apollo 11, simply reformatted and discarded originals. All the information is there. NASA loses contact with tiny exoplanet hunting satellite. For years, space exploration teams have searched for exoplanets, looking for climates and conditions that could support intelligent life. The word exoplanet simply refers to planets that orbit a star other than the Sun, like the planets in our solar system do. When tracking down these exoplanets, physicists have been looking for signs of life and climate similar to those on Earth. However, one small satellite that was making substantial progress fell out of contact with us on Earth in late 2019. Asteria, or Arc Second Space Telescope Enabling Research in Astrophysics, is a small CubeSat spacecraft described as being just the size of a briefcase. Asteria was designed to look for exoplanets and marked a collaboration between NASA and MIT. Furthermore, this little satellite was proof that small crafts can be just as useful in groundbreaking research. The last contact that was made with Asteria was December 5, 2019. Until March 2020, attempts were made to reconnect with the craft, though with little luck. That does not mean the CubeSat satellite was a failure. Launched on November 20, 2017, Asteria soared through three mission extensions, having been expected only to last for two months. This ambitious little spacecraft outlived itself time and time again, continuing to work and make progress despite its short life expectancy. Losing contact with a craft that functioned for so much longer than expected is certainly not a point of weakness. These mission extensions were funded in part by the Heising Simmons Foundation, establishing yet another contributor to this impressive project. NASA officials released a statement on January 3, 2020, in which they explained that Asteria had proved that small satellites are able to conduct searches for large exoplanets. This goal is still being carried out by TESS, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. Throughout its mission, Asteria was able to observe stars and collect precise measurements of their brightness. This facilitated research, which revealed that dips in the brightness of a star could indicate a planet passing between the satellite and the star whilst orbiting. 
Throughout the mission extensions, Asteria was able to test autonomous technologies using artificial intelligence, observing targets such as Earth, comets, and other spacecrafts. These same procedures can be applied in the future to look for exoplanets in orbit. Asteria is a true example of the common idiom, good things come in small packages, as this tiny satellite completed a lot before we lost signal with the craft. Even the world's most famous space agency, often idolized, has made some major mishaps. With lost artifacts, data and contact with satellites, there is plenty of criticism thrown its way from even its biggest fans. NASA's work and practices continue to improve, though even in a field of exact sciences, mistakes will continue to be made. Even with flaws and hopes not quite being achieved, some of the research outlined above continues to break records and hold titles that will go and have gone down in history. But what do you make of these space discoveries and announcements? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.